the volume of work necessary for a mother to raise children. We have made the role of the mother we belittled it. When someone says, I'm a stay-at-home mother, oh, Fun. When really a stay at home mother is the most valuable commodity in our nation. Oh, I wish I could get a better amen. Yeah. 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 The reason why I say that is because if it was not for them, we wouldn't be where we are today. Um, you can really detect something in the child when the mother is really playing a strong role. Yeah. I'm going to say this, not, be, not being facetious. You will find children that have a strong motherly role uh, read better. They're good. They, they perform in school. Uh, their attitude is well, and so it's very necessary for the mother to play uh, the role of a mother. Yeah. Uh, so I'm saying this, and uh, some, sometimes you say things on Mother's Day, people get hurt. They say, "Well, my mother wasn't there." Well, you get a chance to start something brand new. Yeah. You can look forward instead of looking back. Hallelujah. You can be all that you know that God has placed in you to be. You can be the mother that can make an impact on a person's life. It's amazing to me how uh, God made he, male, and female. And sometimes when we talk about homosexuality, we, we look at it from... Okay, we look at it from uh, the standpoint of, oh, that's sin. But let me tell you something that's even deeper than that. There is a purpose why God made male and female. Because the female has a specific role to play in the upbringing of a family. The mother's role cannot be uh, uh, changed. Like you can't say, I'm a man, but I'm going to be a woman. As much as you try to be feminine, you still don't have the mother instinct. Because it's only placed in a woman. Right. Just like the man has a role to play as a man. So you can be a woman and say, well, I'm going to be the man. You can try to act manly, but you don't have what's placed in you as a man that God places. So you can, there's nothing but the devil. The devil tries to mess up family structure. So they try to go around it and say, well, I should have the right to love who I want. Yeah, you can love whoever you want to. But you can't play the role of a mother if you're not a woman. And you can't play the role of a man if you're not a man. Hello, somebody. And so it's, it's a perversion that tries to offset what God has established because God knows what's best. Hello, somebody. God knows what's best. Not you. Not me. Not society. Not politics. Not the majority rules. None of that stuff works. Only the Lord knows what's best. And that's why he made mothers. Someone say amen. amen. So if your man tries to play a role of a mother, just give it up. And go on back and be a man. Hallelujah. If your woman trying to play a role of a man, just throw in the cards. That's not for you. Go on back and be the mother that the Lord has called you to be. Because then you will fulfill what God has called you to fulfill. And you'll do it at such a level. My goodness, Lord, I bless you so well. And you think, man, what was I thinking about? Yes. I liken them to a person like myself being a drug addict. You know, I just need to stop doing drugs and go on and be clean. Hello. Yeah. Is the pastor you doing drugs now? I don't know. Should I go ahead and take a hit right now while I'm standing here? No. The devil is alive. No. No. What do you think? No. I got the pipe. The devil is alive. Want to go ahead and hit the cocaine right now? No. That's what people tell you. I'm gay, but I want to be on the keyboards. Right, right. Should I be on the keyboards and still be in a way that's not acceptable with God? Come on. Can't do it. So this morning we are saying thankful. Thank you to all the women that are women in need. Hallelujah. All the mothers that are mothers in need. Hallelujah. I respect your role. I respect your role. I respect your role. You might have three kids, but my mama had seven kids. Seven kids and gave us breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And worked the job. Hallelujah. I know it can be done. And everyone in my family besides me has a degree in college. And I got enough time in college I should have a degree. Hallelujah. After nine years, it seems like you should just give me a piece of paper. Here, you, you've just been going too long. Here, just take this get out of our face. I'm tired of looking at you and stuff. Luke chapter 17. I'm thankful for our first lady. She's a, she's a wonderful mother. 
for all of you that are have merged families. Any merged families in the house? Anybody have merged families? Let me tell you, uh, when you marry somebody, uh, that their child is your child. They ain't your stepchild. There's no such thing as a stepchild. That's stuff that we make up. Let me tell you, Joseph was not Jesus' stepfather. It never says that in the Bible. It says that Joseph was Jesus' dad. He didn't, he wasn't birthed, he didn't do nothing to have that baby. But he doesn't claim to be a stepdad, he said, that's my dad. So when I married my wife, that's my son. I don't go around talking about this my step, step what? What did I do, step over him? No, that's my son. And that's my wife's son back here with the red on, the red and white, it'll be good. Hallelujah. And so understand the power of family. Understand the power of a mother. And if the Lord... Lord forbid, but if the Lord give you five kids, step up to the plate. I had to say, Lord forbid, forbid, but you know, this day, this is some wicked days. Oh, this is an evil day. Evil day has come. Step up to the plate and be the mother that God has called you to be. Yeah, you're going to be tired. So what? We live tired. Uh, you know, even people party and live tired. They go to the club tired. They ain't like, oh, I'm tired. I got to go to the club tonight. No, they don't. They say, I'm going to give you like 20 minutes. And boom, and they're good to go. Oh, I ain't been seen that long. I'm telling you the truth. Because we have to understand and recognize the, the power of a mother to be able to persevere in, in the strength that God gives the woman. To be able to stay up late at night when a child is sick. You think when they get sick, I stay away? No, no. Right. <laughs> like real loud, just so you know. Mothers have a, a, a way of really being there for the child, more so than a father. Because I, I don't want to hear it. I'm trying to say it the nice way. There's really no nice way of saying it. Because we say stop crying, stop, stop, shut up all that crying stuff. <laughs> but the mother be like, okay, but all they know is, look, I ain't trying to touch your nose. And your nose. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. Man. Get your mama. Yeah. You get scratches and she all clean the sore out. I'm not cleaning nothing now. <laughs> I'm gonna pour the alcohol from a distance. <laughs> oh, I wasn't supposed to use alcohol? Oh, my bad. <laughs> So different. So different. But given to us by God. I want to say Happy Mother's Day. 